In this video, we're going to create the user interface in Angular for our CRUD application. And we're going to use Angular Material to quickly generate some components. So in the previous videos, we've connected MySQL, a very simple database here with just a grocery list of with an ID and an item. And we've performed the CRUD applications on the server side so we were able to make a HTTP request and we're able to get all the groceries, post a new one, update a particular one and with a query parameter we're able to delete a grocery item from the list. So this video mainly focuses on building the user interface and then in the next video we're going to actually implement all of the CRUD applications in Angular with, um, you know, RxJS and Angular HTTP and all of that. So I'll have the source code in the description if you want to skip this one and go straight into the next one. But let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, I'll open a new um, terminal, and I've already created the folder. I'm already navigated into the folder. And what I'll do is I'll just start a new Angular application with ng new, and I'll just call this CRUD operations. And I want it in this current directory, so I'm just gonna do a dash dash directory. And dot slash for this current directory that we're in. And I'll run that. And I'm just gonna say no. I'll just use SCSS, although it's not too important because it's just going to be a quick angular material layout so we'll just wait for that to install okay so we've got the angular application loaded up so let's just go into the app file folder and just clear everything so we can start fresh and we can delete uh, and we'll just rename the title and we'll, oh no, we'll just call it CRUD operation. So that's all good. Uh, what I will do next is I'll install Angular Material. So I can do that by saying ng add at Angular Material. And this will ask us a few questions and we'll just go ahead and install the defaults for that. So yeah, we'll just choose this indigo pink. Um, set up global angular material typography styles. Yeah, may as well. Browse animations we won't need. Okay, so we'll just install what we need for angular material. Okay, and in the app module, what we'll do is we'll just import a few of the um, the material components so that each of the components is a module itself so let's say we want a button we don't want to create it with HTML and CSS we can just use the one from the component library angular material have one called map button module and Okay, we'll just need to import that as well. So let's import it. Uh, let's just import it here. So we can import, and I'll just copy this and put it in here. And it's coming from uh, at angular slash material slash uh, button so we can go ahead and we can get the button and we can also we will do the same thing for a few of the other uh, components so I might just copy these through the ones that we'll need so we 
we're going to use the card module, the icon module, the input module, the list module, and the map toolbar module. So just go ahead and get those. And what I'll do is I'll just copy these in to the um, imports. So I'll just copy those in here like that. So go ahead and add those. And I'll save the app module file. So now we have all of the tools we need to create a user interface. So what I'll do now is I can close this file here and I will generate a new component. So NGGC and I'll make a components folder and I'll put it into a folder called grocery list. And I don't want the test file, so I'll just say skip the test equal to true. So that will create this folder here for us with a grocery list and co component. And we can just go ahead and start working on the HTML and any TypeScript that we need for that. So, okay. What I'll do is I'll need to reference this grocery list component from the app component HTML. So I'll just get the selector here. And in the app folder, I will file, I'll just add this component here like that. And I might just go ahead and do an npm start just to make sure everything's working okay. So that's compiled. And if we go to localhost 4200, we can see we get this grocery list works. So, okay, let's actually build the interface itself now. So we'll start off with a map toolbar. And we'll just give it a color of blue, which is the primary color. And I'll just say CRUD operations. So we save that and now we get our navigation bar and the next thing we might want to do is we might want to have a header for this and we'll call it shopping list and I'm just going to do some inline style here because I don't have a library like Tailwind or um, it's only going to be a small file so and do some of this. So I'll center it. I'll change the font size to 48 pixels. I'll make it bold. And I'll also give it some margin top so the uh, navigation bar doesn't cover over it. Okay, so okay, we've got this shopping list thing here. Now I will put it in a mat card. So I'll use a mat card here. And I'll make I'll just make this 50% of the screen and I'm just going to do it on desktop, won't be responsive or anything like that. We just need a quick UI so we can complete our CRUD applications. So I'll just give this a style and give it a width of 50%, margin of auto to center it. And then we'll create a, um, we'll need a input and a button. So let's just create the button first. So, okay, we can have this button here like this. And we'll give it a, we'll, what we'll do is we'll, we'll have a card and it'll be 50% in the center here. In the top right hand corner, we'll have a button to add and then we'll have this um, input field where we can type in something and then we'll have like a list where the list is the list of the groceries with the ID and the grocery item name and then there'll also be an edit icon where we can type something in there and then click the edit icon to edit it and then we'll also have the delete icon where we can delete the row. So let's just do the button. So to do that we'll um, we can give this button a style 
and we'll float it to the right of the card. And we can also make it a uh, material button. And I might give it the um, this directive um, mat dash fab, which is just a style of button. And I'll give it a color equal to primary. And then I'll use the one of the material icons to give it a plus icon. So material icon and I think it's add actually. So let's see what this gives us. Okay, cool. We've got this button here. Um, okay, we need some content to fill out the card, but that's okay. So next we want to have an input and we need to put an input in the material form field so we can associate it with a label. So let's just go ahead and say material form field. And I'll make this 100% of the width. So I'll just say style equals width 100%. We'll give it a label. So there's a uh, map label for that. And we'll just call it grocery item and we can have an input as well and this will be a mat input and I'll give it a placeholder with an example value that we could have so for example we could have rice so now let's take a look at what we got here okay so we've got something where we can type in we can click a button to add so it's looking okay. So the next thing we would want to do is we want to create our list. So to create our list, what we can do is we can use a mat list. And this will have a mat list item inside of it. It's similar to like a UL and a LI. So mat list item. And we're going to list out all of the um, all of the groceries. So what I might just do now is I might just make a quick temporary variable called groceries, and I'll set this equal to an array. Of objects with an ID and a item name so bread milk so that'll be just like that and then what we can do is we can loop through this list with a ng4 and I'll let grocery of groceries and what I'll do is I'll say okay I'll have this span here and I'll have the grocery ID and I'll also have so that will just be the number and the name of the grocery item. And I might give this a font weight of bold. So let's just do an inline style. And save that. So now we're starting to see our shopping list has some shape to it. Now what we could do here is we could um, we might want some buttons to the right so we'll have two buttons and we'll have the edit button and the delete button and I want them both to be floated to the right here so I'll put them both in a span inside the mat list item 
So I'll have another span here. And I might just style them with a position of absolute. So that means I'll be able to use right and I'll position it to the right with right zero. And then we'll have two buttons. The first button, and this can be a matte icon button because we'll have a icon associated with it. And inside this button, we can have a matte icon. And this uh, will be edit. So how this works is this is from Angular Material as an icon name, and the name of the icon goes in between the um, the tags for map icon. So that's an edit symbol, so that'll be a pencil. So we also want to give it a color. So let's do that. And we'll make this the primary color. So let's just see what we've got so far. Okay, so we've got this blue button here that we can click. Now we want another button. And I'll just go ahead and shift alt down this. And instead of edit, what I'll do is I'll call it delete. And I might change the color from primary to worn. Okay, so our color does not look like it has been taken. Oh, okay, so I've this should be color equals worn. You probably spotted that. So now if we see it, we can see our user interface has this um, sort of structure to it. So very simple. And I might just start beginning on the, um, the methods that we'll use on it. So we'll need to give this input field a label. Um, oh, sorry, a template variable. And I might call this. Um, actually, we'll, we'll we'll go ahead and we'll implement this in the next video. So we'll just have this simple UI here. You know, we can click on something, type it in, and the idea is when we click add or add it to the list, or if we type something in, then click edit, it will edit that particular item, and then you know we can delete that item as well. So. To see the actual implementation details of this CRUD application in Angular, please check out the next video. Okay, thanks for watching.